Dobbs ended up coughing up the football late against Rashawn Jenkins in Jacksonville. Willis, awkward looking throw, but he makes a connection with Chris Moore, who loses the football in Bears territory. He's going to be ruled down by contact past the Chicago 45 at the 43. It's a gain of 32 yards to Moore. Five yard penalty, still first down. Obviously, Titans have Derrick Henry as their lead back. Here is Spears slipping through, gets past Jackson, and finally wrapped up and brought down by the new addition, T.J. Edwards, but it's a run for 14 yards, and Tajay Spears acclimating well. It is Willis on the keep. Nice move. There is a flag thrown on the play, but he walks in for a touchdown. I think uh, I think Edwards got held by the receiver, Chris Moore. Chris Moore on the perimeter. Let's see if that's the call indeed. This is Trey Blake's crew, but Alex Kemp is the lead official. There Thanks, is football no foul zebras. on the play. It's a touchdown. Yeah, a little RPO action for the Tennessee Titans. Pulls it out of the running back's gut. And here you see right there, that's what T.J. Edwards, it looked like he hooked. He is a really good change of pace back. Better at blocking and better at catching the football here this offseason. First touch for D.J. Moore. They used him in a ton of ways in Carolina. This He's was gone. one of them. And there he goes. Goodbye, touchdown. Welcome to Chicago. D.J. Moore, 62 yards. Made the trade for this player of Carolina. Listen to these stats when you look at what uh, what what D.J. Moore has done. He is one of eight players all time with over 5,000 yards career receiving. Levis hit hard from the backside. It is a sack for the rookie sack. Pickens out of South Carolina. Blitz coming from the Titans field, trying to maneuver away. And is able to find Herbert with plenty of room to run again. A first down and more. There he goes with some blocks. Herbert still on his feet for the touchdown. He looked dead to rights in the pocket there. Rolls to his left, keeps it going, keeps the play alive, and then just dumps it off to Herbert. What does that say? These aren't long down the field throws. These are run after the catch play. Ryan Stonehouse, one of the best punters in the game, as we said, he led the NFL as a rookie last season at punting yards. Boy, that's a boomer. And a big bounce. Uh-oh, Bayless Jones touched it, and Tennessee's going to recover it. That's what the big leg of Stonehouse can do. Luke Gifford ends up recovering it. So still Malik Willis, who led the opening touchdown drive to begin the day for Tennessee. Play fake to Haskins. He's got time. Look at Enzo. Deflected and picked off. Off the hands of Josh Wiley and intercepted for the Bears by A.J. Thomas, who's gotten a lot of play in camp with some of the safeties getting a break. Great play by the former Western Michigan Bronco. Middle of the season before Sam Darnold took over at the end of the campaign. Walker, deep ball, overthrown for Equinemia St. Brown, and it's picked off by Trey Avery of Tennessee. And he's got some room. He'll take it near the 30 of Chicago as Blossom game brings him down. I mean, he's averaged basically eight sacks a year. That is a good get in a late signing by Chicago. On the move. Nice throw by Levis into open space as he connects with Mason Kinsey. They'll go for it on fourth and goal from the half-yard line. Haskins over the top and in for the touchdown. Big leap there from Hassan Haskins, who got a brunt of the carries on that drive for Tennessee. Yeah, he just went over the top. And here's the thing. Bears rush just four. Levis, the pump, the throw, and he's got a man loose. And a connection. It is grabbed by Racy McMath. He's got the first down. Levis underneath. And catch made near the 40 yard line that ball may have come out loose for a moment Josh Wiley the rookie out of Cincinnati was trying to hold on to it Adrian Colbert came over to try to punch it now let's see what the ruling is going to be here he definitely jarred it that that helmet was right on the ball I think that, that's a loose ball it's Bears ball indeed Julius Chestnut is the running back 
And pressure on Willis. Flag is thrown. He's able to escape to the right. Travis Gibson again got some penetration and forced him out of the pocket. He's going to run out for a loss of one, and we'll check the marker. Bears were a very heavy nickel team last season, as many teams are becoming now in the NFL. Willis, and he has that ball punched out loose from the backside. It is Bears football. Forced by Terrell Lewis. Empty set again for Walker. In breaking route, and it's grabbed by Tyler Scott, who lost it. Big bounce, and it's still on the deck. And it looks like Tennessee's got it, but let's see. Indeed, the Titans have it. Ben Neiman, the new addition from the Arizona Cardinals, comes up with the football. Able to beat Zach Johnson off the left side that time. Second and ten. Good feel by Willis. And he's able to find a receiver up the sideline. It's kind of wrap things up. So really great stuff. Really appreciate everybody in the front office making time for us. We'll see George in a little bit. Nice run by Willis as he takes it into Bears territory for a first step. But they believe in continuity and why they fired from within an elevator a couple of times. Caleb Shudak from 41, and it is good. Sneaking inside the upright to give Tennessee the lead at the end of the first half. Have tried to build on top of what they do in year one to year two, year two to year three, etc. What do you like to see from your position in a front office as an executive as you see come on a big run here breaking loose for the Bears throw shot and indeed the second half starts with a score a 17 17 tie Peterman lost it got a man in Ford Big block, get rewarded with a big pass play. Isaiah Ford, the former Virginia Tech Hokie, takes it near the 30 of Tennessee. Peterman. Dancing against the pressure, trying to surge ahead. It's going to be fourth down. He smartly holds on to the football. They are more stout with him at the center position. Then you bring in uh, Nate Davis, who comes from a power running team like uh, like Tennessee and the Bears led the league in rushing and the guy Darnell Wright is going to be amazing Levis deep drop off the play action looking for something downfield and time runs out what a day for Travis Gibson he continues to get after the quarterback hey Jimmy there is some thought that just because of salary cap he might have to get let go but he is trying to make his play nice maneuvering by Julius Chestnut Shifty left and right. Texas Tech Red Raider launches one, but it's wide right. On a normal game, you wouldn't do this, but in a preseason game, you're trying to get these potential reps in. Bajan's going to let it loose, and it is caught. Doris Fountain. They were a very strong tandem in their first year together last year. And Santos play up. Can't get much better than that. He could have made it for 55. That's a split, and that would have been good for Well Debro. Hey, you guys are connected on a deep bomb route. Uh, it just came quick. It came quicker than we both expected. Uh, between me and him, just talking about everything. Stevenson is able to settle in early. Yep. Willis over the middle finds Jackson. There goes Kieris Jackson with a big gainer for Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Willis, pocket collapsing, got rid of the football, it's incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Willis, end zone, knocked away incomplete. Bears take over with a minute 35 left. Levis, lofts it, picked off. It's Braylon Trahan to seal the deal and a second half Bears shutout in the preseason opener. 23 to 17, Bears get a win over the Titans in this preseason opener. A nice positive start. Great to see Terrell Williams get an opportunity as he got to go through the process.